And who knows where her life will take her, you mm -hmm. know, and what her opportunities will be. So, you know, that's what I want for all of my children and my grandchildren was just to find their own way in life and what what works for them and what their happiness is and you know and I guess what I would like to say to Olivia is that uh, you don't really know what your happiness is and what you're looking for until you get out there mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you think you you have kind of an idea but you really you know Penny, the massage therapist that I was just talking about the other day, and so many young people, and I was the same way. Ah, uh, you look for happiness on the outside, but mm -hmm. as you get older, you find it really is within, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And ah, uh, but it just takes life and and lessons and maturity and and experiences. Ah. Uh, to figure all that out, you know. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't come with a book and you just don't all of a sudden turn 18 or 21 and you're an adult and yeah, you got all the answers that life just does not work that way. <laughs> and as it should be, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. how boring that would be <laughs> if, yeah, you know, we turned 18 and all of a sudden there was nothing else to learn or live or, yeah, we wouldn't want that. So, you know, even though life does have its challenges when you think about it you really wouldn't want it any other way you wouldn't want all the answers you know just yeah you, know, you think you would but mm -hmm. just think how much you would miss finding the answers you know if, I mean really you know <laughs> that they were just there and you know and all the opportunities that you would miss searching for you know the things that make you happy and you know yeah, just life, mm -hmm. and that really is what life is all about, you know, or at least that's the way it's been for me, mm -hmm. and people that I've talked to have kind of shared the same wisdom and knowledge, if that's what you want to call it, mm -hmm. experiences, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, and so I did do radiation, uh, and Olivia, I did the radiation for you, sweetheart, <laughs> uh, because even though I wasn't going to cure it, it would give me more time. And Andy, really, it was so important to him that I be here uh, to see Olivia. And I wanted it too, you know. And so I felt like that if I did the radiation that that would, you know. I mean, yeah, we all want more time when we realize that it's coming to an end. But yet, uh, I had a specific pur purpose, you know of why I wanted that extra time uh, and I'm telling you she is the love of my life I mean you know I really do believe that she is why I'm still here you know because I just she is just so enjoyable she's so entertaining she's just so adorable and I mean I know I'm a grandmother but everybody says the same thing and if you if you met her, you would you would know what I was talking about because, I mean, even people from hospice, even the chaplain, you know, like they'll come in and she'll either be at her bounce or her high chair, you know, and we start talking about her and we even lose track of time just, you know, because she's so entertaining. I'm like, yeah, I, I can just sit here all day and just and watch her and just enjoy her, you know. She's got so much personality. As I've gotten older, I found that, uh, yeah, when you're looking for something in other people, uh, it's really best to kind of step back and look at yourself first and see, let's see, how do I want to put it? Uh, see what you're actually looking for because sometimes when you're looking for you know answers and people and why they do things you know and especially when it comes to things that number one you don't agree with or uh, or maybe even uh, 
offensive or even that you don't understand, uh, I think it's best to just ask yourself, what, why do you want to know these things? What is it? What's, what really is behind what your question is? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And I think when you really figure out what you're actually uh, trying to find out, uh, it's easier to get the answers, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're just there without even the asking, you know. Because, I mean, there's been so many times that I'm like, oh, why would a person do that? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, you know. I mean, are they stupid or or what, you know. And, you know, but then when I step back and think, okay, well, what about that that bothers you, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, what causes that reaction? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I sit and think about it and I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, they just, you know, that's the way they were raised or uh, that's just how they figured it out that it works best for them or mm -hmm. whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. But take it a second to stop, think about what I say, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, you know, yeah, take a step back before I go ahead and take two steps forward and yeah just make sure that that's what i want to do you know and you know the one thing that uh and that took me many many years to learn uh and I, if i had learned it sooner i would have saved myself a lot of heartaches through my life but uh is to trust that gut feeling mm. and you know i myself when people would say, you need to just trust your gut. I, I didn't understand what they were saying, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, but it really is a feeling like in your stomach, you know, or just inside of you. And when somebody says something or somebody says something or does something and you just get that feeling, you know, that that this doesn't sound well, you know then you should really stop and, you know, evaluate the whole situation before moving forward with it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that will save, since I learned that, it has saved me a lot of heartache. And it's kept, you know, me from being taken advantage of and just help. It's, it's been a real useful tool, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, along the way I've learned a lot of uh, skills or tools to... Uh, to make life easier, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mostly just, you know, trying to be a good character, you know. People today, you know, and, uh, and when I think of Olivia, it's what I want the most for her. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just to, to have a good character, you know, to... to to really, you know, have morals and values and scruples, but understand that how important they are and how much a part of you they are, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you know, and just good principles, you know, and, and kindness, you know, and, and caring and, 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 not, yeah, people today are just seem to be so self-centered and so self-serving, and it, it sometimes just boggles me, you know, and for me, I've always been a very giving person because I believe that you get back which, more than what you give out, and that's the way it's always been for me, you know, every time I've given, I've gotten it back ten folds, folds over, you know. And, um, so, yeah, you know, uh, I am just a very giving person. And the things that I do that seem so insignificant, you know, because they don't really take anything out of my, or not enough time out of my day or whatever to make that much of a difference. And some people just think it's just remarkable. And for me, it's like, I didn't really do that much, you know, uh. And 
you know, and then they say, yeah, but most people wouldn't do that, you know, and I know that's true, you know, most people wouldn't, and it doesn't, I don't understand, but no, for, for Olivia, most of all, I just want her to, uh, to just grow up, and I know that her mommy and daddy are going to teach her, uh, teach her those qualities, you know, uh, and, uh, and then it's up to her to kind of refine them and, and make them stronger, you know, and, and make them work for her, you know, and, and I want her just to, like with all my kids, just to be happy and successful in their own, you know, riding in their own way, you know, it's not, it's not up to me to, you know, uh, figure out what their happiness is or, or, what their success is, you know, because success is not measured in dollars and cents, you know. Success is, is the life that you have. I mean, uh, I, I believe I'm a very successful person, and yet <laughs> I don't have a mansion on the hill, that's for sure. <laughs> but again, like I said, the success is not measured in dollars and cents. It's to me, you know, and, you know, the motto that I always live by, you know, and any time... You know, uh, I do help somebody out, and uh, the first thing and the last thing I always tell them, and I mean it sincerely, is pay it forward. Mm -hmm. You know, don't pay it back. You know, I don't want it back. But, you know, when you're in the position to help somebody, you know, then, yeah, pay it forward, you know, instead of paying me back. And if people would just do that, just think how much better the world would be, you mm -hmm. know. If mm -hmm. every time somebody helped them out or did something, they would just, you know, help out the next person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and it's such a small thing, you know, and why the world doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I have not figured that one out, and I won't, you know. <laughs> um, and a wise man years ago... We were talking about, you know, religion, God, you know, spiritual things, you know, and pretty much just our belief system, which I have a very strong belief system. Matter of fact, uh, I've said from the very beginning of all of this that God's got my back, and I believe it more today than I did a year ago when I was first diagnosed, you know, and I... I know I'm going to a better place. There's no doubt in my mind. I am so, you know, God has promised that, and he keeps his promises, and I just don't doubt it, you know. And uh, I don't have any fears other than I think we all kind of have a sense about the unknown, you know. Uh, so for that, yeah, you know, I... It doesn't make me afraid. It just makes me maybe a little anxious, you know, like, yeah, I know I'm going to a better place, but how am I going to get there? <laughs> and, you know, and what's it going to be like, you know? Uh, but no, like I said, you know, me and God and Jesus are just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I, uh, I've talked to throughout this whole journey uh, so many people with cancer and the one thing about cancer that it does take you to your knees and it keeps you there you know it really does uh, but um, uh, uh, oh yeah the wise man told me you know uh, he said you know God doesn't give us all the answers and he believed that the reason that he didn't is because we wouldn't understand him. We wouldn't be able to comprehend him. He said, you know, God doesn't give us all the answers, but it's because we wouldn't understand it. We wouldn't be able to comprehend it, you know. And I've always thought about that, you know, and it really has helped me not to struggle with things that just don't make sense and that I don't have any control over, you know. Uh, and helping me to accept it and be okay with it, you know, like, you know, like, all these terrorists and all this stuff is going on in the world, to me, it's crazy, you know, it's just absolutely insane, you know, and, uh, and I don't understand why it can't be stopped, you know, and it doesn't make sense to me, uh, 
and that would be, you know, I mean, when you when you read in the Bible, and especially at the end, you know, and there's so many wars, and there's so many acts that are that the Bible describes that are even going on today, you know. Uh, but it still doesn't tell you the answers, <laughs> you know. So, again, you know, other than, you know, to hold fast to God, you know, and, uh, and you'll be okay. And, um, yeah, I just, I have a strong uh, relationship with God and, uh, and I've raised all my children in, in, in my belief system, you know, and, uh, and it's really important to me that, that they pass it on to their children and, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I think they're all doing the best they can, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, I maybe could have done better, but, you know, uh, I try not to pull out my, my judgment stick, you know, and start measuring. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about my life, and of course, you know, starting out with my family, and then, uh, this is my mother and me, when I, my first day at kindergarten, um, and, uh, I honestly, everything I am, or a big part of me, uh, I really give credit to my mother. She was just such a a wonderful woman, you know, and uh, I guess, you know, we always have a few regrets in life, and I guess one of them is that I'm not sure that she really knew how much I uh, loved her and appreciated her and uh, respected and admired her, you know. I hope she did. And, uh, and, yeah, I was with her in those last days, you know, 24 hours a day, and we, we spent a whole lot of time together in her last week, so we did a lot of talking, and I, mm. I, I hope she did, mm. and she does, I, I think she does, mm. but, yeah, my mother, you know, she was just a remarkable woman, and she gave me uh, all the good qualities that I have today and that are able to, to pass on to my children, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where they, that's a big part of it right there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Well, of course, that's when my dad was alive, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, 